Kinetic Wall is a permanent interactive and kinetic installation realized for Cupra and installed at Casa C, the Spanish automaker's experiential hub in Barcelona. Situated just in front of a wide window on the second floor. This kinetic facade creates unique light and shadows effects, enhancing the whole space and the cars. Whether no one is standing in front of the facade, the installation performs a set of pre-programmed choreographies, fully showing the media's expressive potential. Whenever a person approaches the wall, it turns interactive and reacts, opening a personal viewport on the city landscape behind. How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a kinetic wall facade like Casa C. But in this case, it's interactive to sun position. Without further ado, let's go to Grasshopper and see how to make it. In the first step, we'll set surface that it's going to be our facade placed. You can apply to any surface. Use an offset surface to make the separation distance from the main surface and the facade placed on it. And in the slider, we can control how much the spacing to the previous surface. Add expression minds X to change the offset direction. With triangle panel B, you can create a triangle panel, and you can control how many triangles will be in the U and V direction by the number sliders. You can get it by installing the lunchbox plugin. You can watch how to install multiple plugins at a one click. Link in the description. You can watch it later after this video. Now we remove half triangles depend on their size. By using greater than component we can call out the triangles which have a smaller area than the number slider input. The next step is creating three openings for each panel. To do that by extracting each side and extrude to the center, by using extrude point component. For B input we set each segment, that we extract from each triangle edge. For P input we set the center of each panel. Now create a gap at the connection point, where joints are placed on it. To do that we simply fill it. Now make a surface in each panel. To do that use a boundary surface node. And make a rotational axis for each of them. For that, we use rotate axis node. For X input, we set each edge as an axis that we extract before. And for A input we set to a degree. And add expression minds X if the direction of rotation is inward. Now we make a simple sun orientation diagram by using arc component and rotate it on xy plane and rotate to the center axis. To get the center axis simply make a line from the start and end point of the arc. For that use the combination of line and end point components. 
Use expression lines x if the direction of rotation if is not supposed to be. Now we have the sun path. By using evaluate curve we can control the position of the sun on that path. Now the goal is to rotate each panel according to the orientation of the sun position. To do that we need to know the angle between the normal direction of each panel to the position of the sun. That means if the angle between the sun and surface normal direction is 0 degrees, the panel will get maximum radiation so it must be closed. In another scenario, if the angle between them is 90 degrees and above the panel will not get any radiation so it must be open. To get each normal direction we use the surface closest point for S input. We set our offset surface for P input. Then by using evaluate surface component we can determine each normal direction. Once we do that measure the angle between the normal direction and sun position. After that by using remap number scale thus values to what size of opening the panel will be. And set for A input of panel's rotation. <laughs> 